The Utah Jazz almost lost this game, but they pulled it out. First off, Kelly Olenek was right. They weren't getting any call. The Snow Bros, though, tonight, that's what I've nicknamed, if you guys did not know. I've nicknamed Kelly Olenek and Lowry Market and the Snow Bros. I really hope it catches on. It probably won't. But look, Kelly Olenek, he had a quiet night scoring-wise, but people don't realize Kelly Olenek is a type of guy Dropped six assists, grabbed eight rebounds, had a steal. He also had just was showing ways to stay effective. There's a reason why at the end of the game he's on the floor. Because he's effective regardless of the ball being in his hand or not. Larry Markin did his thing. Larry Markin discovered this newfound aggression where he attacks the rim. And he, there was one where he went up the board and he like did that like finesse in air midair and i was like i did not know lauer marketing was this acrobatic i think him playing for the finish team over for Eurobasket really instilled this confidence he hadn't had since his first few years in the league then mike conley continued to be the maestro you know being the floor general okay and being efficient jordan clarkson had an efficient night 20 dropping 20 points dishing the ball running some of the offense jordan clarkson's honestly having a career year lowry marketing this is really lowry marketing and jordan clarkson's team as colin sexton's been a bit quieter since this you know after having a great start to the year Walker Kessler, his minutes have been steadily decreasing, but he still, you know, comes in and protects the rim. Taylor Horn Tucker impressed me tonight. Continues to play great defense. And you know what I always say? What does good defense lead to? Good defense is the best offense. And Taylor Horn Tucker, yes, the three-point shot's still not falling, but showing ways facilitating offense scoring points in transition as a slasher cutting to the basket and just phenomenal malik beasley doing his thing shooting three scoring points getting steals playing the best defense he ever had we saw a bit of simone fontecchio not much yet but still this is a great team rudy gay continues to do his thing will hardy looking like greg popovich the start of the fourth quarter 30 seconds in he was not liking what he saw colt a timeout says boys let's talk this down because i don't like what i see and that's just good coaching honestly people don't realize how well coached this squad is and for me i just think it's something that people are overlooking that this is actually a good team and at this point i truly believe they're going to be they're going they're going okay they're going to be in the plane at the very least i don't know what else to tell you guys to further that statement in your mind but it's pretty ridiculous how good this utah jazz team is it, it comes down to good coaching good coaching okay and people were acting like oh they're not you know they're not winning games this that it really like they're not supposed to be winning games is what i meant to say right there what are you talking about okay at this point i fully bought in but I didn't realize Danny Ainge, he's too old for a rebuild. We've been talking about that. It's a retooling. And Lowry put freaking Jalen Green on a poster, okay? And I just, man, it's just seeing Lowry, Jordan Clarkson, and all these guys do things that it's fun to watch. It's good basketball. And if you don't like it, like, what are you, okay? Like, you know? Like, Jordan Clarkson also... I just, the other day against Zion, he had that monster block, like literally almost like ended Zion's career. I, I just thought this was a fun game. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And that's where I want to hear your thoughts. Was there anything I might have missed that you guys would have wanted to hear? But this is a team that as we see more and more, okay, they're rocking the rim, okay? They, these guys are literally hitting the rim so hard it looks like they're trying to break it half the time. And for me, I just think it's some of the best basketball we've seen a team just play, shocking everybody, okay? This ain't your mama's Utah Jazz. This is the Will Hardy Utah Jazz. All right, they're scary. They're hungry. There's some tough cookies who are trying to win games and prove people wrong. They got guys. Also, you know what? Every win that they get and every time these guys play play good, all that does is drive up the value of all the, these players. Also, I'm surprised, like, after how great of a start Colin Sexton had in the opening game that, like, is Colin Sexton who we thought he was? Like, they paid him a bunch of money not to play him. So, I'm just genuinely curious about that one. Maybe, maybe I'm just wrong for thinking that, okay? But I'm going to hear your guys' thoughts down below. 
But yeah, I definitely think it's been so much fun to watch this on a nightly basis. And I want to hear your guys' thoughts. What are you guys thinking about this and why? But peace.